It depends on the type of audition, depends on how much music I have or how many lines I have. Normally I, um, I get the music that they require and they send an mp3 and if they don't, then it's my job to ask a friend to, to play it out for me. Um, and then I go over it uh, lyrically and I go over it with the notes and with the accompaniment. And then I also go over the lines over and over and over out of sync so that I memorize them and then with thought and feeling and as an actor, you know, once I have the lines down. How she does it. What I'm thinking about in my audition is first and foremost not to mess up, reminding myself rather to stay in the moment because I want to have um, the most truthful audition possible. Whether I mess up or not, um, I, I want to make sure that I'm, I stay in the moment and to do the material justice and do it from a place of honesty for myself. I mean, in the audition, it's a it's a battle because you have to choose between. Sometimes you have to choose between doing the material and and doing what you know and and playing the character. So you have to find a happy medium of doing a little bit of both because you know it's an audition process. It shouldn't be polished yet. It shouldn't be something that's in your body because that happens later. And um, oftentimes they don't want to see that. Um, so you just have to find the balance of bringing a little bit of what you've developed of a character and all of your knowledge of the material together and, and hoping it, it plays out. Once you get hired for the job and you get the job in terms of bringing a character to life, for me, I have to know my music first so that I'm not stumbling over it once I get in the rehearsal room. So once I know the music and I start learning choreography, then it it all goes together so that when I sing one word and this move goes with it, my brain connects all of that. So it, it helps in learning their process and therefore I can develop the, the character without having to think my left hand goes here because they all go together. I can be in my living room and learning lines and songs all day, but until I know what that physicality is and, and what I'm going to make that character be, then it's not Velma Kelly or it's not the leading player until I put it together. Everybody's different. I do have friends that have to learn the movements first so that they can put the words with the movements. You know, so it's just all a matter of how your brain works. But for me, I have to know the music because it's a language and it's it's your conversation, so to speak. It's, it's what you're talking about. So once I know that, then all of my moves uh, dictate that and then and then the character comes, yeah. Now you've seen me going through it You can see there's nothing to it But I simply cannot do it <laughs> Great, we're gonna do it again